Andy Ruiz and Rel Miller battle to a 12 round majority draw in one of the best slugfests and fights period of this year. This was a great fight and I actually can't remember how I scored it. The way the fight played out was Andy Ruiz was fighting more on the back foot. He was cautious of Drell, just his uh, sheer size and intimidation. And just, I think, around the last 30 seconds or so, he walked Miller onto a combination. And I started thinking this was going to look like the Ruiz-Luis Ortiz fight a few years ago, where Ruiz's hand speed and better accuracy would just help him against the bigger, slower man. But... After losing rounds two and three, I remember, Darrell Miller in the fourth started catching Ruiz with body shots. I mean, like the previous fight between Martin McCauley and Jared Anderson, Big Miller did not go away. He was walking forward like the Terminator the entire fight. And as he got close to Ruiz and pushed him against the ropes, he was able to land some nice body shots. And Ruiz was feeling them shots. He looked more hurt than he has since... I'd say the first uh, fight against Anthony Joshua where he was dropped for the first time. I know it's a weird one to go back to, but Ruiz has been known for having a very solid chin throughout his career. And against Chris Ariola, his chin seemed to no longer be the same. But I expected he was going to be able to handle uh, Big Baby Miller's shots for the most part. But again, the body shots were really hurting him. And... Again, I have to go back and watch the fight again to know exactly how I scored it, but I thought the fight was even after six, but I started thinking the fight was going in Big Baby Miller's direction, and sure enough it was, because in the last six rounds, I personally, again, I have to go back and re-watch it, but I don't remember giving Ruiz more than two rounds in the last six rounds, so by my scorecard, Jarrell Miller should have won this fight, but, well, again, Maybe I missed a few uh, moments where Ruiz hurt him, but in the last six rounds, I just remember Ruiz backing up for the most part. He fought on like a warrior, let's not get that twisted. He showed his true grit and determination in this fight, which was to be expected. This fight was fought between two fat guys at the end of the day, so it was never going to look like a pretty boxing match. So when they started getting close to each other in the last six rounds, leaning and holding each other and looking a little sloppy, wasn't surprising, but... I just remember at the end of most of these uh, clinches, Miller was able to tag Ruiz with some nice left hooks and big right hand over the top sometimes. He was just landing the eye-catching shots, at least to the face, in the last six rounds for the most part. Again, Ruiz did win a few rounds in there, but I didn't think he did enough to win more than two. And I definitely thought Darrell Miller won more than two rounds in the first six. So again, by my scorecard, Jarrell Miller won this fight. And Ruiz, again, he showed true grit and determination. There were no knockdowns in this fight. Miller was, again, focusing more on the on the head, but he was also going to the body, whereas Ruiz was just focusing on punching Miller in the face. And I guess Ruiz did land uh, more eye-catching shots in some of the rounds because his hands were quicker. I mean, Ruiz... Even though he's always been a big fat guy, his hands have always been razor sharp. He's certainly not as fast as he was when he fought Joseph Parker back in the day, but his hand speed is still very impressive for a heavyweight one and a fat heavyweight at that. So yeah, that was very impressive that he was able to keep up with Miller. And again, despite his getting hurt many times throughout the fight, he never went down. And Miller's defense has never been good. He's always relied on having a great chin, but also the benefit of all of them steroids. He's been sticking up as you know what for the last few years. And I thought at the end of the day that even though Ruiz was, again, landing some nice combinations and punching Miller at times where Miller wasn't able to get close to him, and Miller's shots weren't as clean as Andy Ruiz, even though that's the case I just thought Darrell Miller won more rounds so I was a little bit surprised that the commentators also had the fight a draw but at the end of the day when there are that many busy rounds where a lot of the work is very messy and both guys are standing up to each other's shots and 
Ruiz did bank a lot of the early rounds, although again, I remember having it even after six. At the end of the day, you can't really complain too much about the judges. Ruiz showed that he did bust his hand up in the first half of the fight, and that certainly bothered him. I mean, when you break your hand and you have a Terminator of Terminators with all kinds of juice in him walking forward non-stop, it's got to be demoralizing, especially when you've got a broken hand. You're like, damn, I can't keep this guy away with two hands. Now I've got to keep him away with one. So, yeah, credit for Ruiz for fighting through that. Miller was very emotional afterwards, but he was also, by his standards at least, quite humble, which was quite interesting because really Darrell Miller should have never been in this position because of what he did so many years ago. But regardless of whatever is the case, he is back, he is here, and he just fought on one of the best cards of the year in a thrilling fight against a top 10 heavyweight. So... Yeah, I never thought we would see Jarrell Miller back in this position, anywhere close to this position, really, after he disgraced himself against, or he never got into the ring with Anthony Joshua. But, yeah, it's very interesting. And Ruiz has been out of the ring for a very, very long time, pretty much two years. So, I've questioned his um, motivation, I've questioned his, um, a lot of things, really, his dedication, his sincerity and how he carries himself since that win against Anthony Joshua but they both put on a fantastic fight so credit to both men I would love to see the fight again and I'm sure Turkey Alashek would want to put the fight on again and yeah let's hope the rematch happens guys who did you score it for who do you thought won the fight and yeah I'm very intrigued to see both these guys again whereas I thought this fight should have been below Martin McCauley versus Jared Anderson so Drop your thoughts down below guys, catch you later, like and subscribe as always.